If you've been thinking about making a career switch to data science or have been watching tutorials to learn data science on your own, this video is for you. In this video, I will show you all the things you need to learn to become a data scientist. I will introduce you to all the concepts you need to master from math and statistics, the programming languages you need to know as a data scientist, and also the visualization tools used in data science, as well as some popular data science projects. So let's start with the mathematics and statistics that you need for data science. There are two subfields of mathematics that are widely used in data science and the first is linear algebra here you must know how vectors and matrices work you need to learn vectors for linear algebra linear combination linear dependence and independence and vector dot and cross products and about matrices you need to know transformations and matrix multiplication and also how to find inverses and how to transpose a matrix then you have to learn calculus so you have to learn derivatives differential equations integrals series and more and that's it for the mathematics you need for data science. Most of this stuff can be done in Python with a few lines of code, but it's good for you to know the math behind it. Now, in statistics, you need to learn different topics. So, some of these topics are the descriptive statistics and also distributions. So, you should know how to find the median, the mode, and the mean, and also some distributions like the normal distribution. This also includes knowing the different types of data, learning how to build a histogram and a scalar plot, and also understanding the concepts of variance and standard deviation. Then you should learn confidence intervals and hypothesis testing. So you should know how to estimate a population proportion and population mean, and also the type of errors, p-values, and the significance test. Finally, you should learn probability. And this includes learning core concepts of probability, experimental probability, independent and dependent events, and also conditional probability. Okay, now let's see the programming skills you need to have as a data scientist. This usually involves learning Python and SQL. You can learn R instead of Python, but most people choose Python over the R programming language. So let's start with Python. Learning Python for data science involves four different fields. First, data collection. Here we have to collect all the data that we're gonna use in our data science project. And here we learn libraries such as Selenium and Scrapy. Then there is data analysis. Here we clean our data and also transform the data to get some insights. And we use the NumPy and Pandas library to do that in Python. Then we create some visualizations from our data, such as bar plots and pie charts. And we use the matplotlib library to do that in Python. Finally, there is model building, and this is all about machine learning. Here we'll use some of the concepts of mathematics we learned before, and also we'll apply it using some libraries like scikit-learn and TensorFlow. Besides Python, you should also know SQL. So you should know the core concepts of relational databases, and you should know how to create queries. So you should learn DDL statements, such as create, drop and rename, DML statements such as select, insert and update, DCL statements like grant and revoke, and TCL statements such as commit and rollback. Also make sure you know how to join tables in SQL. Now let's see some visualization tools that you need to know as a data scientist. Data visualization is important because this is how you communicate your findings to other people. We also use these plots for exploratory data analysis, which is a step in a data science project. So for example, we make box plots and scatter plots to detect anomalies in our data. Some of the tools to make these visualizations are Power BI, Tableau, and Python. And in Python, we use a library called Seaborn that'll help us create more advanced plots. Finally, let's see some data science projects that you can start solving after having a strong foundation in the topics that we mentioned before. So the first project is credit card fraud detection 
and here you have to detect if a transaction is valid by analyzing customers' spending behavior. The second project is email spam detection. Here we have to classify whether an email is spam or not spam. Another popular data science project is building a movie recommendation system. So here you have to build a simplified recommendation system that you will find in streaming services like Netflix, for example. And finally, a popular data science project is customer churn. Here we have to predict whether a customer will leave or stay in a company. Using information such as the credit score, the number of products, the salary, and more. That's it. If you want to learn Python for data science, check the free resources in the description and also download my free Python for data science cheat sheet. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.